Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is October the 6th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today that I know will encourage you. Once again, I'd like to thank all of you for your encouraging words. Thank you for welcoming me back to my channel. I'm glad to be back and I am anticipating that together we can all be encouraged by the word of the Lord in this season. The word I'd like to share with you today is a relatively short one. But as with other words, people will have questions. When is this taking place? What season are we in? And the only way I can answer that question is to say that the Lord had told me that these are the end times and these words and messages he is giving are his way of preparing his church for his return. And so there is no way of knowing for sure when these things will take place, when they will be fulfilled, but we can know that these are the things on the Lord's heart and they are what he wants his people to focus on in this day. I hope this word blesses and encourages you today. It is titled, The Bride is Arising. I'll begin by reading scripture. Matthew 5 verses 14 through 15. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. This word is encouraging us that the light of Jesus Christ is in us, and that we are shining his light into the world. Isaiah 60 verses 2 through 3. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. In this scripture verse, the Lord is telling us that it is his glory upon his people that radiates his light. Ephesians 5 verses 26 through 27 To make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. This scripture verse speaks of the work the Lord has done in his people, that he has been cleansing us, removing our stains and blemishes, and making us into a radiant church. Revelation 19 verse 7 Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. This scripture verse speaks of the finished work of Christ in his church. He is making her ready as his bride for his return. I'll begin reading this word. Display my splendor, says the Lord. Walk in line with my will and purpose. Be a light shining in the darkness. I am positioning my bride in the earth. She shall radiate the love of Christ to a fallen generation. I shall put her on display 
for all to see. I shall parade her forth, outfitted in the finest attire for every occasion, and her splendor shall be made known to the whole earth. For my beauty queen shall arise, says the Lord. I am moving you into the realm of high praise. I am building you into a powerhouse of praise filled with the glow of my holy presence and taking you to the nations. Though many have tried to deny that my light shines through you, be assured that the work accomplished in you by my spirit has made way for the light of my countenance to be upon you, for my radiance to shine through you. You are a light on a hill for all to see, and I will make it even clearer in this day that I have a chosen people who are a beacon to those lost in the storms of life. I will radiate so thoroughly through you that the nations will be compelled toward you. My desire is to transform my body into a beautiful bride, a radiant bride, reflecting the glory of her king. I shall dress her in the most beautiful garments, and she shall walk with dignity, says the Lord. I shall clothe her in raiment of honor, and just as the king's scepter was held out to Esther, my scepter is being held out to her, for she is accepted in my courts. I have done an amazing work in the hearts and lives of my own, says the Lord. I have prepared my bride through trial and adversity and honed her to perfection as a precious jewel. She shall go forth as a beautiful expression of what I have accomplished in her, draped in robes of white, untainted by the world's ways. For this is the day when she shall step out of her dressing chamber to meet her bridegroom, and this is the day when she shall be walked down the aisle. I have waited for this day, for the time of my bride's arising. I have longed for her approach of the altar and the wedding song to begin. I have waited for this day with great expectation, and now the time has come, the day when we shall become one. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that the work that he has been doing in his people is almost complete. He is telling us that this is the day of the fulfillment of his bride being made ready for his return. As I mentioned earlier, we can't fully comprehend exactly when the finality of this takes place. But the Lord is telling us that his bride is arising in this day. We can be encouraged that the time is soon for the wedding feast of the Lamb, that the purposes of God in our lives is being fulfilled, that he has done the work to present for himself a bride without spot or wrinkle. He is calling her his beauty queen because the work he has done has resulted in her radiating his glory. I hope this word encourages you today that the trials and struggles we have been through have not been for nothing. He has been using them to refine and purify us as his bride. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon. And for those of you who live in Canada, have a blessed Thanksgiving weekend, and we'll see you all again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.